name is Dr. Rabia Bhati. I'm a breast and general surgeon, and I would like to share with you a new technique that we are using for the treatment of breast cancer. Breast cancer is frightening. A patient's life comes to a standstill as she tries to deal with the disease. And our goal as physicians should not just be to cure this disease, but also to try and make the patient return back to her normal life as soon as possible. And in order to do that, we have adopted a new technique for delivering radiation to the breast, which shortens the course of treatment from six to seven weeks of radiation, which was a traditional way of dealing, uh, of delivering the radiation, to five days of radiation treatment. And that is called targeted breast radiation or, or, or balloon brachytherapy. This involves uh, inserting a balloon catheter into the breast and um, this catheter is inserted into the breast after we do the surgery for the breast cancer, which is called a lumpectomy. After the lumpectomy, the catheter is placed in the office, it's inflated, and then we uh, determine on ultrasound the distance from the skin to the catheter. We make sure that the catheter is taped in place, the patient goes to radiation oncologist and undergoes five days of radiation treatment twice a day. On the fifth day, the catheter is removed and the patient goes home, radiation is completed. It's as simple as that. Who would not want five days of radiation versus six to seven weeks of radiation? Uh, we recommend um, breast brachytherapy for uh, patients who are eligible, who have early stage breast cancer, as it is effective, it's efficient, and it gives us good cosmetic results. Thank you. Hi, I'd like to introduce you to my patient, Phyllis, who has kindly agreed to come and talk to us about her experience regarding balloon brachytherapy. This is Phyllis, who had early stage breast cancer. She's a retired librarian, works for multiple organizations, and is working on her home, and so wanted to get on with her life. And um, that's why uh, when the option of radiation using a balloon catheter for five days was introduced to her, she wanted to go ahead with this. So Phyllis, tell us, how was the actual experience of getting the catheter in your breast? Well, I was a little bit apprehensive when I'd seen pictures of it. I couldn't figure out how the whole thing was going to go in, but I figured that you know. <laughs> so, and, so it and worked, worked it, out very well. Was it a painful yeah, procedure? That's not at all painful. And did you feel awkward walking around with a balloon in your breast? No, for a week that or was so? mainly. The mainly awkward part was having all the uh, catheters taped to my side. And right. Uh, obviously, when I was dressed, that wasn't obvious to anyone else. Okay. And how was the actual uh, time that when you went to get the treatments? How long did it take you, and did you feel tired afterwards? Well, the treatment itself was probably only about 10 or 15 minutes, but the overall preparation uh, probably was about 45 minutes each, okay. each time. And uh, would you recommend this treatment for other patients who are dealing with the early stage breast cancer? Yes, for anybody who is eligible and has the time, I think it's an excellent choice. Okay, thank you so much, Phyllis, for coming. And so you heard from Phyllis, the balloon brachytherapy is, a, is an excellent means of delivering high-dose radiation to the breast efficiently, effectively, and with good cosmetic results. If you need to get some more information about this technique, please call our office or go on our website at www.suburbansurgery.com. Thank you. Hello, my name is Dr. Rabia Bhati. I'm a breast surgeon and I'm here to talk to you today about a new treatment for breast cancer. And I have one of my patients here, Anika, who will be talking to us about her experience regarding this new treatment. This treatment is called breast brachytherapy or a balloon radiation treatment where we insert a balloon directly into the breast to deliver radiation into the breast for five days instead of the conventional treatment of radiation for four to six weeks. And I wanted to have Annika here today to give us her uh, view of the entire treatment so that other patients can also know how it feels to have this uh, new treatment uh, for breast cancer. 
So good morning, Anika. Good morning. Thank you for coming today. You're How are you feeling? I feel good. Good. Tell us about yourself. So you came to us about a year ago, and you had breast cancer. I have a breast cancer. And now you are cancer free. I'm cancer. That's free. excellent. Thank you. And um, what kind of treatment did you have for breast cancer? I have a surgery. Yes. And the cancer was removed. Okay. And I have a five days uh, radiation. Radiation treatment. Five days radiation. Okay. Treatment. Had you heard about this radiation treatment before you came to see me? No, I didn't. You didn't. And so when we discussed the treatment options with you, you could have the old-fashioned radiation for six weeks or five days of radiation. Which which one did you prefer? Five days. Yes, of course. We all mm -hmm. want to have shorter treatment so that we can get on with our lives back quicker. And also, this radiation treatment only delivers radiation to the area of the breast where the cancer was removed instead of delivering it to the entire breast. So it has an advantage in that way too. So, Anika, you came to the office and after the surgery, and we did the the, the catheter oh, placement in the office, correct? Yes. How bad was that? Did it Not hurt bad. you? No. Um, no, did, did it hurt when the balloon was inflated? We blew up the balloon in your brain. No. And did it hurt afterwards when you went home? No. No. And how did you feel at home with that balloon in your breast? I felt okay. A little uh, water shaking in my breast. I was like, what's this? But then I was like, oh, okay. Okay, so it feels that like there's good. water sloshing then around in your breast. Like, yeah. Okay, good. And then um, when you went for the radiation, tell us about it. How would you go for the radiation? I went in the morning in uh, 45 minutes. And you would drive your And I drive back home. Uh -huh. I eat, relax, uh -huh. and I use a crochet. I make my scarf. Excellent. And then so you would go I back. Continue, I go back myself and I come home. Okay. And I was okay. How were you no feeling? Sleep. I felt good. You felt good. I felt good. And you were able to carry on with your daily activities? Yes, and I did. You didn't have to kind of lie down and no, not be much, tired. No. And all. Excellent. And then after the treatment, they pulled out the balloon catheter? The pool, yes. And did that hurt you? No. Not really? No. And no. would you recommend this treatment for other patients? Yes, I would. Why is that? Well, that's easy. That's five days. Mm -hmm. And I felt safe with the balloon. So it doesn't radiate my whole breast. So, so that was... That's what you like about it. Yes. So Anika feels that the fact that the balloon treatment just radiated the area of the breast that had breast cancer and not the entire breast is a big advantage. And we all feel as physicians also who deal with breast cancer that in case there's ever a recurrence of cancer, the patient can still be given for the radiation as the radiation is limited to one part of the breast. So that's one of the advantages of this balloon brachytherapy along with the fact that it takes shorter time uh, and a shorter treatment goes for the patient. So Anika, thank you very much for You're coming welcome. today thank and you. good luck to you.